Alright guys, how's it going? It's the 24th of November 2019, it's your unofficial Blender news. I have lots of browser tabs on, let's just get straight into it. So the big news on everybody's lips, Blender 2.81 is now officially released. Yay! And I do have to say so myself, it's pretty damn powerful, some really nice features, and it's pretty stable. So congratulations, but it's a good segue to move on to the Blender developing meeting notes. So in Blender 2.81, remaining non-showstopper bugs move from 2.81 to 2.82 workboard. It makes sense. Windows builds will be created by the build bot, including signing. Mac OS builds will be signed still out of the build bot. So we're already moving into the development cycle of Blender 2.82 and it's looking damn sexy already. Proposals and patches for new features should be submitted by the 12th of December. Mantleflow and LAN PR are in good shape, but they still need a little bit of help getting through the review process. Undo speed up, really can't grumble. Library overrides get an improvement. Assets may get some partial patches applied. Grease pencils improvements, sculpting improvements. Pretty damn good looking if I do say so myself. <laughs> Quite like this one as well. Blender 2.81, a dozen fixes. So let's take a look at the other news around. Well here we go, my code for exporting Blender to Universal Scene Description, hashtag USD, is under review. Will we see USD in Blender? Hopefully, hopefully. Ah, this is regarding Blender 2.81, you can now easily add colours and rotation and custom properties. Nice little feature, and I'll show you a video that will actually talk you through the features. And in community news, Sydney Blender user group is on November the 27th, so if you're living in Sydney, go and check it out. So let's just move it straight into tutorials, we've got a lot to get through. Blender 2.81, new features in less than 5 minutes. You'll start to see a lot of these videos pop up, so make sure you check them out, and this is from Southern Shorty. Next one up, this is from 3D School, how to add snow to any model in Blender. Guys only get 700 subscribers, make sure you hit that button. 10 super useful shortcuts in Blender 2.8 We always need a shortcut, don't we? Exporting stylized character rigs from Blender to Unity Pretty good video, I did check this one out Good stuff And I've been mentioned this one last week, it's a commercial product and it's introduction to Blender 2.8 and it looks pretty damn good if I do say so myself And this one's from CG Cookie How to model hair in Blender an easy workflow, even for beginners. And one thing I really like about this tutorial, it's actually written. <laughs> and this is definitely a lost art these days. But it might be coming back, a guide to Blender freestyle rendering with even cycles. And this is another written tutorial. So hopefully we're starting to see the trend of written tutorials coming back into play. Personally, I like doing videos, but having it written is a lot easier. Especially when you've got an accent like mine. So let's move it on to add-ons. So, Andrew Price, aka Blender Guru, his wife's crashed her car, so he thought he would have a Blender sale. <laughs> Check the video out, get a discount code, save yourself a bit of money, and help him repay his car back. Now this is new on Blender Market, Pure Toon Water. $25 for the optimised version, $10 for the simplified version. If you bought this, let me know in the comments down below. And this is one I'm just throwing right into the mixer. QBlocker add-on for Blender 2.8 QBlocker is an interactive object creation tool for Blender. So this is looking pretty damn good and it's available free on Gumroad. Remember all links in the description down below. So I'm kinda cheating here at the moment, but thought I would draw your attention to it. This week I'm working to improve Blender's 3D palette management, so keep an eye out for that as well. And this one I probably do recommend, Image Node Preview, $7 available in Blender Market, a Blender add-on that shows thumbnails for image texture nodes in the node editor. Now, some would argue that this should be implemented as standard, but for now, you have a plugin. And on the subject of commercial plugins, I bought this a couple of days ago, Mass Effects Dynamic Physics Painter. It's $20, when it works, it works really well, does seem to have a couple of teething problems, but if you go in the history of the developer, you know these issues will be resolved, and hopefully the plugin will only get better and better. So twenty dollars is it worth it? Yeah, definitely. And this is a new upcoming product, so I've 
Can't really say much about it at the moment. There is a demonstration video and it's called Scatter and it does look pretty damn good. So keep an eye out for that next week. And wrapping it up, Animation of the Week. Animation of the Week. Baby Yoda. Everybody loves Yoda. Everybody loves Baby Yoda. So well done for the Animation of the Week. And this is my render of the week. It's Steampunk Suzanne. I really just dig this render. And that's been your unofficial Blender news for the week. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, share the video because that certainly helps, you know what to do.